George Shultz became our nation's Secretary of State at a time of escalating world tensions. Relations with America's great rival, the Soviet Union, were at their lowest point in a decade, and the Cold War had returned with a vengeance. A world full of conflict and suffering offered George Shultz an intimidating array of diplomatic challenges. But Secretary Shultz had always thrived on challenge. And as history has shown, President Ronald Reagan made a sound choice. If I could pick any man for any job in this country, uh, I'd always start with George Shultz. George Shultz's journey did not begin amidst a background of power and influence. As a child of the Depression, he was drawn to the study of economics and its impact on people's lives. George was admitted to Princeton, whose motto is, in the nation's service. This became the motto George Schultz has lived his life by. After Princeton, George intended to go to graduate school. But with the outbreak of World War II, Schultz enlists in the Marine Corps and serves in combat in the Pacific. Before entering politics, he was a professor of economics at MIT and the University of Chicago, serving as dean of the University of Chicago Graduate School of Business from 1962 to 1969. George Schultz then served as the United States Secretary of Labor and the Secretary of the Treasury during the Nixon administration. From 1974 to 1982, Schultz was an executive at Bechtel, eventually becoming the firm's president. In 1982, he was appointed by Ronald Reagan to serve as the 60th U.S. Secretary of State. Schultz served in this role for a critical six and a half years. George was a role model for me uh, when I assumed the job as Secretary of State, but more than that, he was, he was a role model for the department. Almost before Schultz moved into his office, he faced the challenge of negotiating a peaceful solution to the Middle East problems. Following six months of intense shuttle diplomacy, Schultz had established a diplomatic dialogue with the Palestine Liberation Organization. Through these efforts, he sought to bring an end to Middle East hatred and build new relations with America's allies. In a world of increasing conflicts and tensions, George Shultz strengthened America's position both economically and diplomatically around the globe. His greatest challenge, however, was seeking an end to the nuclear arms race. George Shultz helped to bring Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev together in a summit meeting that changed the world. At Geneva, the Soviets conceded that they would be willing to eliminate intermediate-range missiles in Europe and perhaps in Asia. But Schultz, like his boss, wants something bigger. He wants to get the Soviets to agree to deep cuts in the intercontinental ballistic missiles. I've always said that Secretary of State Schultz was a major figure when we began to move forward in addressing problems and began talking about the future. In 1987, the Soviet leader arrived in Washington, D.C to sign an historic agreement eliminating an entire class of nuclear weapons. Overall, the world became a different, safer place while George Shultz was Secretary of State. Democracies strengthened in many countries around the world. In South Africa, the end of apartheid had begun. The crisis in Lebanon was calmed and the Middle East averted another war. And for the first time in history, an American president stood in Red Square with his arm around a Soviet leader. After six years service and receiving the Medal of Freedom from Ronald Reagan, George Shultz said goodbye to the State Department. It's been a tremendous privilege for Obi and I to be part of this family. So we thank you very much. Today, George Shultz is a senior fellow with the Hoover Institution at Stanford University. It is a perfect place to exchange ideas with young minds. For more than 60 years, ideas have been the guiding force in George Schultz's life. Ideas about freedom and human opportunity and a peaceful planet. 
They are the ideas that have helped make the world a better place. The Congressional Medal of Honor Society is proud to present this year's Distinguished Citizens Award to the Honorable George P. Schultz.